Hello everyone and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me tonight. So, as you can see, I've got the dog back out here again. And tonight, my plan is, we're going to go and visit our nearest neighbor, the moon. haven't yet please be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on anything also be sure to hit the notification icon that way you guys will know whenever I do upload a new video because I know I don't really have a set upload schedule tonight we have a beautiful 35% waxing moon and in my opinion I've always kind of preferred uh, waxing and waning images of the moon compared to full moon images now whenever it's something like an eclipse or something you know that's different I don't know, it's just something about the contrast of the shadows and the craters and everything on waxing and waning moons that I feel just makes for a more stunning picture overall. Now I really haven't done that much lunar photography and tonight my plan is to actually take quite a few images, go in and stack them and use some of the recent post-processing skills I've learned to try and take my absolute best image of the moon ever. So let's go ahead and get started. So a really, really simple setup tonight. All I'm going to be doing is attaching the DSLR camera straight to the Skywatcher Dobbs on in here using just a T-ring. And I'm also going to go in and take some video just so you guys can see using both the 2X and the 3X bridal lenses. That way you can kind of see a difference between how the, how the three look compared to one another. I've got another video on my channel which I'll link up above right here showing exactly how I do connect my DSLR to this exact Dobbs Sonian telescope here. And like I said, it's a really, really simple setup here. But yeah, just using the T-ring, attached to the DSLR, straight to the dogs on you. So, let's go ahead and hook everything up. Alright, now I've got the camera attached to the telescope here. And this video that you're seeing here is directly through the telescope itself. As you can see, I can adjust the focus on the telescope and that adjust the focus of the moon. Um, off film, I'm going to go in and like zoom in on the moon somewhat just to tighten in the focus and make sure it's just perfect. So I went in and I got my focus adjusted somewhat. It was pretty close anyways, but I tightened it down just a little bit more. And I went in and adjusted the camera exposure somewhat. And you see it pulled out the details of the moon just, just a little bit. And my plan is tonight, I'm going to take probably quite a few images probably at least 50 or so and go in and stack those and edit it after that So now that you've kind of seen what the moon looks like just straight through the scope itself I'm going to go ahead and put on the 2x bottle lens and see how much closer that takes us in. All right, and now this is with the Celestron Omni 2X Bartle lens, and you can see it is considerably closer with just a 2X Bartle lens compared to what it was before. You can definitely start to pick out some individual craters now. Let me move the scope around just a little bit. And one thing too with looking through um, a bottle lens you know you're looking through more glass so you're going to have to adjust your exposure somewhat just like on this right here i had to turn my iso up just a little bit because whenever you're looking through more glass it's going to darken the subject or whatever you're looking at And now this is with the Orion 3X Bartle lens. You can see this is pretty darn close. This is pretty amazing. Just kind of pan around on it here. You 
and I've got the exposure turned down just a little bit more. It's kind of hard to find a sweet spot with it right now with this lens. Because if I turn it down just one more step, it's just a little too dim and I lose some of that pretty contrast on the craters there. So I'm probably just going to leave it like it is. Let me let go. Again, sorry that the telescope's shaking. That's just, that's me touching it. I'm just going to let it go again and let it drift through the frame. But now that you guys kind of have an idea of exactly what you can see of the moon through these Skywatcher 8 inch drops on you, I'm going to go ahead and take off these Bartle lenses here and go ahead and start taking some images. So the way I want to do this here, I'm going to go ahead and hook up this remote shutter release cable to the camera. That way I don't touch the scope during the middle of the imaging or anything. That way I can hopefully get the best pictures possible. If you guys want to, I actually got another video that's similar to this. It, it was back about two weeks actually after I bought the scope here. It was the uh, New Year's Eve supermoon of 2018. And I'll go ahead and link that up here at the top so you guys can check that out if you want to. But yeah, in that video I, I used this exact same setup here. Yeah, if you guys can, want to see more you know, of a full moon, you can go check out that video as well. I'm going to go ahead and get this remote shutter release hooked up and get started. All right, I've got everything dialed in now. I'm just going in and taking just as many images as I can. You can hear every time I press this button here on the remote shutter, it'll take an image. But right now, I believe I'm shooting at um, 1 1 25th of a second at it's either 2 or 400 ISO. I have to go back and double check that, but it's one of the two. But so far, these images are looking really, really crisp. I'm really excited to see what I can do once I stack these. Again, I'm going to go in. I'm going to do some pretty heavy editing. But, uh, yeah, as always, guys, thank you all so, so much for joining me on this really crisp evening. Um, here soon, Orion's going to be coming up over the horizon, and I'm really excited to get to work on the Orion Nebula. I'm going to have so much fun with the HEQ-5 this, um, this winter. I'm just really looking forward to... Uh, new targets with new setups but uh yeah that's about it for me guys so again thank you all so so much for joining me please be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet if you enjoy what you're seeing thank you all for watching and i hope you enjoy